Hello everybody, it's Annie Bonani. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to talk to you on this channel. I'm going to talk to you on this channel. I'm going to talk to you on this channel. I'm going to talk to you on this channel. Senzela pila laba wangi na sikaso kuni ngwati na laba bangwe na yukufunda siya pina puzi Sipu wama reality shows etu wa lime zanzi wisa sizala so kuni mga awla ma shows senza ma reviews o ama recaps wisa siya pina puzi Si kuni mga any other issues avu kaya yu mga bila ma shows se siwa bugi le kui tv Yu mga bila kwa kushu wene na mklanje unga kutu kushu press u subscribe button langi zanzi Bese futi uya kumbula ugutu upese notification bell light Uza uga subscribe uguza pila utolu mialezo Umangabe umsebenzi umusha sesi ufagin Guys I always forget I am so bad with the administration When it comes to this channel I always forget you guys But I will do a video to talk about it I do have a join button now on my channel If you look below There is a join button and so if you want to be an official member of this channel you can click the join button to see how you can go about that i did uh, make my tier to be the lowest right now so my membership is very cheap <laughs> so my membership is very cheap so even if you can afford to be my neighbor because it's 29.99 in membership uh, you only pay it once uh, once a month and you become a member of the channel obviously right now i do not have any my any members so i do not have any special content uh, for my members but obviously i want to message you then i will um uh, I will plan my content in such a way that the corny content that I create for uh, a membership here, for Abandaba Kokayo, that membership uh, fee every month. However, whoever is here and is not a member, uh, that won't change. I will still give you the same. So the only thing that will change will be for the people that join as members because I will give them something a little bit different. But here, you're going to get the same that you came here for. So don't be worried about it. You are not forced to go to be a member. But it would be great, you guys, because it contributes towards Ilokuzana, my uh, revenue. So over and above, you watching adverts, I also get that money on my, on my, on a, on my YouTube income. So yes, that's administration. Also, if you are watching my premiers and you want to donate, there's a dollar sign there. You press the dollar dollar sign and you can donate to the channel if you want to i don't have super thanks yet so yeah but as soon as i have it i will announce so yes so now <laughs> so it's not color. guys there is uh something going on on twitter now i want to be piggy sign about my reality shows and i just thought i would come here and talk about it and talk about it and talk about it and talk about it so Lana apparently I went by Pisa and Lapago Titus and I'm a reality shows, are they real? <laughs> or are they scripted? And I thought we'll say, oh, it, it would be great to come here and discuss with my viewers what you guys think about it. But here's the thing, guys. I've I've said even from the beginning when I was starting to do my reviews, so one thing that you have to understand about reality shows is that they are more shows than they are reality. And what I really mean about that, you guys, is that nobody, it's not like, like if you're on a reality show, you just wake up in the morning and you are like, I'm going to the gym and you don't tell anybody and then you just go to the gym and the cameras just happen to be there. That's not how a reality show, if you do that, no camera is going to be there. That content is not going to be on camera. With the reality show, guys, a lot of the scenes are pre not a lot. All of the scenes are pre-planned. If they number one, they do not shoot every day. If they are shooting this month, it doesn't mean that this week they're going to get every single day in my life. You know, they, the scenes are uh, pre-arranged. Like they will know, okay, we are shooting on Wednesday at this particular time and these are the people that i needed for the scene like they would develop for maybe a, a series or whatever it is a tv show that they shoot for so you know what you have you also have a call sheet okay i'm needed for a scene on uh, wednesday 
also you guys when it comes to what you do in that scene what you discuss in that scene if they put if the producers feel that there is something for an example there is something that needs to be resolved between ula konko and ueni and they're going to say okay let's come can you initiate you in any meeting so that you guys can discuss a particular issue of course, you're not going to get a script that is going to say, like, Congo is going to say this, and then, you know, then they will let you discuss the issue. But obviously, you, it was planned that you, like, Congo and any are going to meet, and this is the issue that we want discussed in their meeting, and then they take it from there. So, even the, uh, the, the thing, uh, okay, before I, I go to Indoga, Georgia, I just want to read here with Gatli, Gatli, what prompted this uh, discussion apparently Ufil Mpela Ube Bali Lapayana on his Twitter uh, he said oh, okay this is a tweet that uh, okay let me read it he says look at how many people are in the room this tweet was uh, referring to the picture which I will put here so that you guys can 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 see it. It's a picture of the cast members with uh, like the crew, which means cameramen, like the crew, everybody that works when they are shooting for the show. He says, look at how many people are in the room when they shoot uh, Real Housewives of Devon. This is what is, is meant by TV, reality TV, like TV production is scripted, he wrote. And really, honestly, you guys, there is a lot of people on, on, on this scene. And for me, I totally understand what he means by that, because you guys, uh, it's one thing to uh, do a, a scene uh, or just talk to, when you talk to somebody, for an example, and there's no cameras around, it's different from when you talk to the person and there's cameras around and there are so many people just looking at you not just the cast members but also the camera uh people the producers are there the directors are there whoever else is there that works with the crew so sometimes there are reactions to the conversations that they're having when they are shooting the scenes are not going to be natural because you have too many people looking at you. Even if some of the things you would let go, if somebody says something offensive to you and under normal circumstances, you would let go, your reaction might be different just because there's cameras there, just because there's so many people there. Now you feel more offended just because so many people were watching you experience that. The same thing that happened with uh, Uma Bosi. The thing that she didn't lay her hands on Ujojo was basically because there were so many people there. There would have been so many weaknesses there had she ended up hitting Ulokuzana, Ujojo. Not only would there be uh, weaknesses, but there would also be footage. So she really would be in trouble. So sometimes the presence of the cameras can sort of uh, sway you to behave better because you know everything that you do here is going to be on camera. Uh, but also it can make a cast member overreact because there's so many people watching you. Did she say that to you and you didn't do anything, even if they don't say that, but you know that that's what they're thinking. So your reaction to what the other cast member does or says to you might be exaggerated just because of, of that presence. So I do get what she was saying, but I guess people were arguing that no reality TVs are, are real, they just follow their lives in any, but it would just be a chaos if they did that you guys. If they just took cameras and they came to your house and they waited for you to go, you go to the bathroom, you go wherever, you go to the shop, they're following, it would just be chaos. It wouldn't be uh, structured. And he clarifies because after they came for him, Ben Piggy is the old, the, the reality shows are, are scripted. He came back to say, uh, by the way, if if I'm not clear, I'm not saying people are giving scripts like actors on set. Uh, thought that's obvious. I thought that's obvious, but this is Twitter. One has to put, put it in great three terms. Television is about structure and storytelling. 
So it's not viable to just point cameras, which is what I'm saying, we guys. I agree with him. A lot of it, it has to be directed. It has to be directed because they do want to get a certain content on uh, for the show, for the episodes. And also, you guys, because they don't specifically get like scripts, like, uh, okay, they can be prompted to say, okay, as you, you guys are sitting here, you are going to play a game. And these are the kind of questions that you're going to ask. For an example, the game that they played at Sinambiti. Yes, they did send the questions to be asked, but the final decision as to what questions ended up being asked, that decision was most likely the producers. That's why most of the questions that were asked ended up being Mabusi, because, because Mabusi is the only one that is direct when it comes to those women. So her question ended up being selected the most. Part of it was the producers just being shady because they wanted everybody to attack Mabusi like they normally do to her. But part of it is because maybe her questions were the best when it comes to because they do want shady questions, they do want questions that is going to cause most conflict. So, like, as you are sitting there, of course, you have a direction as to what you are going to discuss. You guys are going to play the games. Here are the questions you're going to ask each other. But how much each cast member participates in that conversation, they can't control because, uh, obviously, they don't have a script to say, okay, now, Mabusi talk, okay, now, uh, talk. Okay, now no food talks. So that participation, that's where it comes uh, down to when we, we are saying, but okay, Makumale hasn't participated as much, but you know who is participating because they cannot control how much you contribute to that conversation. On top of that, after you guys have that conversation and you talk and you have conflicts or, or whatever, they don't just take whatever they shot and then they put it in the episode. Then they go and they sit down and they decide see, which uh, footage makes the best uh, episode. Okay, so you might have said something uh, in that conversation that you think is interesting. It's going to go into the episode. The episode comes and you're like, ha, huh, but I did say that. And they can edit it whichever way that they want you know and as a cast member you don't get to clarify you know they can actually take uh one word um one sentence that you said referring to something else and put another sentence that you were saying referring to something else and make it mean something totally different from what you meant and which is the reason why we even get the reunion to clarify no but that i was referring to this and this one i said i was referring to that so that's why it's reality, but not really. Because if it was reality, if they are sitting there talking for two hours, then we will get a two hour, <laughs> we will get a two hour episode, but we don't, we get a what, 45 minutes episode because they have to put it down into an episode. There's always things that they're going to leave out. There's always things that they're going to edit in a way that is a bit exaggerated. So I think that, that that's really what he means. In my mind, there's, when I watch a reality show, which, whichever reality show that I watch, I always have it in my mind that the producers have a, a certain goal when they shoot a show. They, they have a certain, they, they want us to see these people a certain way, you know? And this is the, they have a certain message that they want to deliver with this show. So they have their own goal. And sometimes the cast members don't even know it. They're just there, they're shooting, and then the show comes, they edit it a certain way to meet whatever it is that was the goal of uh, the producers. That's why even when we do AMA, AMA reviews, of course we're going to, because we have to take it, it's a reality show, and we go after these cast members. But sometimes we have to be forgiving uh, because sometimes it's because they are edited a certain way. There's, like for an example, there's always going to be a villain when it comes to reality show. There's always going to be somebody that we don't feel participates much. Part of it is because they don't participate much, but part of it is because that's how they've edited uh, the person. So, but we are not behind the scenes, so we don't uh, we don't get to see. But even in Dogagala Congo, you guys, we know that uh, the last 
episode, we just feel like that we're just overdoing it. We're talking about in the Baga Petal, they were just pushing and pushing and pushing. And well, according to the episode we saw, that's what they were doing. But if you think about it, that must have been what the producers want. They wanted Indoga Capital to either be resolved, like like Coco proves Petal exists, or it like it, they prove what she's been lying. They wanted valid for it to go like that. Also, when you look at that scene, the last scene where Ujojo throws a drink at Umavosi, there was no reason, you guys, for those women to start talking about those questions. There was no reason, no reason at all, because that thing happened in Nambiti, and they came back to Nambiti, they talked about it, they fought about it, they had conflicts about it, it had passed. There was no reason for those women to be sitting there talking about the scene that took place at Nam Nambiti. The only reason that they did is because they were asked to talk about it, because they realized that this is what will cause the, that finale to be the way that it was. Whether Ujojo was told to throw a drink or not, we don't know. She might have just thrown a drink at Tsubakuza Numabusu. Also, you guys, producers have uh, private conversations with cast members. That cast members cannot come to us and say, the producer told me this because there are scenes that are short and as a cast member you are not there and you don't know what the other people are saying and if a producer wants you uh, and to have a conflict with the, another cast member they might tell you something that you were ne not even there for and say ah you don't know Pilar Mabusi said this so it's even a possibility that George was told Mabusi said this about don't you want to start a conversation about the question thing because of this you know, so by the time she's sitting down in that circle and they are having that conversation, she's already heated because really they want to prompt a fight between the women. But whether she stands up and throws that drink, the final decision is hers. And whether that drink she throws it at Mabus or she throws it at Nongu, that's her decision. But prompting whether that conversation takes place there, I feel like it might have been the producers. And I feel like they might have been conversations that took place behind the scenes that were uh, making sure that everybody gets heated when it comes to the topic of the questions so that when it's brought up, it's not a coincidence that the, that the drink drawing happened at the last episode. It is not, you know, they were trying to push for more drama for the last episode. So that's what we're talking about when we say the episodes are scripted. Or we can say that things are prompted, they are pushed a little bit to behave a certain way so that the producers can get the results that they uh, want uh, to get. But guys, it's a fact that we just have to accept. Not everything is real. Not that they will lie to you, but they will make you think a certain way because of the way that they will push these women, uh, of the things that they will push these women to talk about, of the way that they will push these women to behave so that they can get the products that they want to get at the end of the day. Anyway, I can't believe this video is long because I wanted to discuss just something. I talk too much. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Please uh, like it before and put me on share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers.